All right, real quick, we are going to show you how to increase space uh, at the beginning of a podcast so that you have some intro music and then the podcast starts. How do you do that using Descript? All right, so we've got, here's my audio file with me talking. This is my podcast. And then here is at the top is the music. Quick tip is uh, to see more waveforms, you want to uh, drag these timelines up. And that's going to give you a little bit more visual of your waveforms. So that's one of the things that I always like to play with uh, or adjust when I'm working with audio in Descript. So here is where we want to, we want this file to kind of move. We want, we want this whole thing to have some space where the music starts. So right now there is a little bit of space. So if we click on this right now and we click on start. Hey there, everybody. There's a little bit, but let's just say we want more. How do we do that? So where uh, we are, we want to go to the timeline that has um, the uh, narration. Okay. And one way to see which one that is, is right above here. It actually starts kind of typing everything out. So you can say, oh, okay. You know, the music doesn't have that, but this does. Okay. So we're just going to right click on this, the bottom timeline. We're going to right click on that and we're going to click on insert gap clip. Okay. So what that did is that inserted a gap clip right where we had the kind of marker. I don't want it there. I want the very beginning. So I'm going to do a control Z to take that out. I'm going to move my mouse all the way down. And now we're at the very, very beginning. Again, I'm going to right click and insert gap clip once again. Okay. So if we look at this, I'm going to hold a control, uh, the control button down. I'm going to spin my, my mouse wheel up. The reason being is I want to give myself a little bit more space and then I'm going to drag this down. So automatically, Descript automatically, when you do an insert gap, it does one second. Okay. So uh, I'm going to hold control down and move this down a little bit. So here, right here, from here to here is that gap clip that we just entered. All right. Um, let's click over here and we'll hit play. Hey there, everybody. Okay, so we've got that little bit of clip. Now let's just say we want more than in one second because again, the script by default is going to enter a one second gap. Okay, so what you want to do is click into your narration once again and then just grab the edge here and then notice how it's increasing that gap 1.15, 1 1.1 second. Let's go up and all the way to two seconds. All the way up to two. There we go, right about. doesn't have to be exact. We'll do that. Okay. Now we're going to go all the way back here. We're going to click with our mouse and we're going to click on play. Hey there, everybody. This is okay. So we had music playing all the way up through here. And then right here is where I start uh, my narration. And we've now created space between the narration and a little bit of space at the beginning for the music to start. And then in our next video, what we'll do is we're going to re reduce the volume of the music from here on out. Thanks for watching.